The Gilded Age was a time of contrasts in the United States, when business tycoons toasted their fortunes and shaped the country's economic future, while many of their workers endured low wages and unsafe workplace practices. But who were these men? Industrious captains of industry orchestrating an unprecedented period of growth, or robber barons out for themselves. Between the end of the Civil War and the turn of the 20th century, the U.S. became the most powerful capitalist nation on Earth. There was a lot to celebrate. New advances in technology, powerful industries, and vast, unregulated profits. And in the workplace, things were often much worse, with men, women, and children forced to work long hours for little pay. Robber barons used any means necessary to strengthen their monopolies. They often engaged in union busting, violence, fraud, and political corruption to eliminate competitors and line their pockets. These practices were often exposed by investigative journalists nicknamed muckrakers, who laid the groundwork for legislation to improve working practices and make monopolies illegal. Meanwhile, these captains of industry used their wealth to pursue a range of philanthropic pursuits, giving back to their communities and countries, like Scottish immigrant Andrew Carnegie, who is believed to have spent over $350 million building public libraries, colleges, and Carnegie Hall. He believed it was a moral obligation to give back to others. And John D. Rockefeller, who controlled 90% of the country's oil pipelines and refineries, donated more than $500 million to charities and good causes during his lifetime inspiring future captains of industry like Warren Buffett and Bill Gates to give away their entire fortunes as part of the Giving Pledge. Are robber barons a thing of the past, or do you recognize them in 21st century America too? 